So we're back at the Magic Kingdom. It's a little after six. Just gonna make it the best of what we got for the extra magic hours until 1 a.m. and see how many rides we can get on. Eat some food, get some snacks. I like that. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. How much do they want for it? Oh, 40 bucks. That's not bad. That's not bad. I don't think I'd ever take them out of that box though. Made it to the hub and there's already people lining up. I don't know if they're lining up for the parade or if they're all lining up for the fireworks, but it's a little after six right now. 615, 616 my phone says, and there's people already lining up around the sidewalk, so I'm guessing people are lining up for the parade right now. Might be too early for happily ever after, but you never know with these people here. Finally got my Mickey premium bar and a refill on our popcorn bucket. How's the cheeseburger spring rolls? They're fantastic. Mm. They look good. Ashley, what'd you get? Cheeseburger. You like it? What'd you get, Eric? I had the pastrami. That was... Whew. But that cheeseburger spring roll, you put the Big Mac sauce on that, best thing you'll ever eat. What a stud. What a freaking stud. You know, I'm just like... What a class act you are. You know? I'm doing construction still over at Splash Mountain. Changing it over to Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Starting to take away some of the theming from Splash Mountain to transfer to Tiana's. We have scaffolding going all the way up the hill there and the tree is completely gone now. We just got in line for Big Thunder Mountain. Standby sign out um, at the entrance at 25 minutes so we'll see how long it actually takes. To get on the ride. It looks like there's some people nice. under the big mountain sign up inside. But we'll see. We'll see if it's actually 25 minute wait. It is 15 minutes. It said 25 on the sign at the beginning of the line, and it took us 15 minutes to get down here. Pretty darn good. April, Rock. did you love it? I loved it. Richard? I liked it. I liked was it, it okay? It was fortunate at best. <laughs> Thanks for asking. So, walking by Tortuga Tavern's open. That's rare to see Tortuga Tavern open. They have some wicked good food here. It's a quick service, so basically cafeteria style. You walk up, order, grab your food, and do your thing. Pirates right now looks like it's 45 minutes. Uh, 45. Lightning Lane entrance is going, and we got a whole bunch of stuff going on. Bubbles. It's a pretty long line right now for Sunshine Tree Terrace, but a uh, little pro tip 
If you want a Dole Whip and you don't want to stand in line, go over to the Polynesian. They have the pineapple and I. It's a little window, quick service window. Way shorter line over there, so you're not waiting to get a Dole Whip. Little tip, that's all. We just got done happily ever after. We had Casey's for supper. What an experience. It was not a good experience. Um, food was good. Little chaotic trying to order food and get your food. There was actually a woman that grabbed a tray from someone thinking it was her food and it wasn't. It was just, it was awful. Disney's got to find out a better way to corral people over there at Casey's. But, uh, Happily Ever After was awesome, and now we're in line for Pirates. It's like quarter of ten right now. Yep. The park closes to regular people at 11, and then because we're staying in a deluxe resort, we get to stay till 1 a.m. So try to take full advantage of that, and then sleep wicked hard. Yes, sleep it. Sleep wicked hard tomorrow. Because we've been waking up early to try to hit everything early in the park. Early entry, trying to get into the queues early. Virtual queues. Like, there's a science, there's a madness to it. And you gotta figure it out before you get down here if you wanna get on the rides that you wanna get on. But that's that. We so happily ever after tonight it was awesome. And uh, we're gonna try to ride as many rides as we can tonight. Good night, rest hit it again. Yeah, Hollywood Studios tomorrow. Star Wars fans out there, Rise of the Resistance. Really good ride over there, so looking forward to that, that tomorrow morning for sure. All in all, adults only Disney trip's been going pretty damn good. They have Starbucks? Starbucks back in the pirate days? Look where that empty Starbucks cup is. Look where the trash cans are. Hello. This is why we can't have nice things. There's people out there that come to this place and trash it. Classic ride. And it's 10:38 right now, and we just got our call to go over to Tron. So we're gonna go from Pirates to Tron, so we can go on Tron. Let's go. Taking a ride over here, and we're going to Tron. <laughs> Only took until almost 11 o'clock at night, but I did. I got on at six when we walked into the park. So. I was a little confused on the app because it kept saying not boarding and it didn't fill up the bars that are on the the queue um, page I guess on the app so it kept saying not boarding so I'm like maybe maybe we didn't get it but as soon as we get off the ride all the bars were full up and it said head over there by 1136 so we're going there now. So 
like I, we're heading to Tron right now, but like I said earlier, we got extra magic hours from 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. So it'd be very interesting to see how many people actually leave and how many people stay at the park and what the queue wait times look like for just deluxe resort guests. There goes the people mover. It's actually moving. Finally. Finally going on Tron. This is the farthest I've ever been on Disney property. Well, I'm almost at the farthest point. Uh, the train that goes around the whole property. That's That used to be the farthest up until this was constructed. So awesome. Watch this thing. Uh, being constructed over the years and now we finally get to ride it. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. That's so awesome. I'm loving this. The wait was totally worth it. There it goes. Oh, I can't believe I'm this close. Tron, it was pretty freaking amazing to say the least. Oh my god, it's my new favorite ride of all time. It was awesome. So smooth. The launch at the beginning, the acceleration, it was awesome. Absolutely Just amazing. A totally different sensation being sitting down like on like you're on a motorcycle, like uh we call them crotch rockets where I live and uh unbelievable unbelievable it was a short ride but oh man was it awesome it was um, a little bit outside and the rest of it most of it was inside so like kind of like rock and roller coaster but you're sitting on a bike i waited so long to go on this ride and it was it was totally worth the wait i loved every every second of that whole experience from walking through the queue and the actual ride so look forward to go on it again really soon if you're coming here to magic kingdom definitely try to do whatever you can to get on this roller coaster because it's a really good time Extra Magic Hours, Space Mountain, Walk On. We're here in November and we waited in line over an hour. This is awesome. Just got off Space Mountain. Classic. Love going on that ride. Pitch dark. You don't know when it's gonna dip. You don't know when it's gonna turn. Absolutely love that roller coaster. It's great to go on. If you got a group of six like we do, you fill up the whole roller coaster because it's three in each car and you sit behind each other like bobsled style so it's pretty awesome but we're gonna take full advantage of extra hours and uh go see what we can get on next everything's basically five minutes except for seven dwarfs mine trains 35 minutes haunted mansions 25 but everything else is walk-ons it's all walk-ons um, it said it was a 25 minute wait for Seven Doors, but we actually waited 11 minutes in line. And now we're what? One more train and then it's us. So, not too bad. Thank you, Extra Magic Hours. If you ask me, he'll never reach that dream. Why me? Why me? Oh dear, hang on tightly, Rue. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 
Come back with me. Don't you make you feel just great, doesn't it? I'm gonna throw up. Follow me. What are you doing? I'm almost bounced right out of your mind. How was your experience on Poe? Oh, it was utter psychological warfare. <laughs> is that your favorite ride? Oh, don't you know it. <laughs> there is nobody in Fantasyland right now. It is crazy. It's quarter past 12. Everyone's feet are hurting them. They're probably all going back to their hotels or whatever, but geez. You don't get to walk around with this much space around here too often. Peter Pan says it's a 25 minute wait, but it looks like a walk on to me. Uh, we're not going to do that though. We're just going to head over to Haunted Mansion because uh, we haven't done that yet and it's one of our favorite rides. So. I'm not saying that Peter Pan's not my favorite ride, it's just, it's short, you go on it, it's a, you know, classic Disney dark ride. The whole story, the whole cartoon just summarized in a quick ride, but walking by Columbia Harbor House right now, we're gonna head into Haunted Mansion. Is this Animal Kingdom? <laughs> <laughs> Doing a demo on Splash Mountain. What's going on, all you chowderheads? It's your buddy Tank here. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're up to date on all my vlogs as I upload them. You can follow me on Instagram at Tank Does Vlogs. You can also support me by buying some Tank Does Vlogs merch at www.etsy.com slash shop slash Varriers Varieties. The link's gonna be in the description down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.